Welcome to another tutorial on Aperture 3.0. Um, this time we're going to talk about how to create custom themes using Aperture. In my particular case I use a local lab called GTA Imaging, uh, uh, which is located in Toronto, Canada. Um, basically what I need to do here is first of all contact the lab and find out the, the specs they use for their whether it's coffee uh, table albums uh, or a uh, flush mount album. In my particular case I just need to do a coffee table album so I'll go to our web page since their specs are posted there. Go to products and services and click on coffee table books and they have actual Photoshop templates that you can work with. Now I will need those templates later on once I'm done however um, the purpose of today's lesson is just to show you how to replicate this template in Aperture. So I'm gonna download, let's do this one, 70 pages it's downloading. Okay, uh, we can clear that and close it. And we're going to go to my finder, and downloads, and here's the 70 pages. Now, they start with the first page here, which is, and the rest of the templates is just spreads until it gets to the last page, which is a single page. So, for what I need to do, I just need to take one single page and I'm gonna open this in Photoshop and I'll tell you why. Once it's open, the um, thing with Aperture is when you create a, a custom theme you need to input the dimensions in centimeters and if there's someone out there who knows how to change that to inches, I'll be very grateful if you can point me in the right direction. I couldn't bother finding out how to switch it to uh, inches uh, or even if it's possible at all. So what I did is I, I changed the measurements in Photoshop to um, centimeters. So when I do click on image and image size I get the dimensions here in centimeters. So please write down this uh, dimensions, the width is 28.58 and the height is 21.59 and again this is for a, a template of uh, 8.25 inches by 11 coffee table album. So once you write down this uh, dimensions you can close this and you need the margins too um, again, I changed the measurements to centimeters. So when you click here in the selection tool, or sorry, the move tool, and position yourself right there, right in the blue line, you are at 32, oh, actually 0 0.32 centimeters. And those are your margins here, here, and here. Uh, more or less there, yeah. So it's 32 all around. Um, I took the time to actually go really close to in and make sure that it was that actual measurement. So once I have the margins and the overall dimensions of the page, I go to Aperture. And here I have a selection of images. Uh, from a wedding I shot in 2009. So let's do this too. And again, the process as usual is once the images are selected, I click on New, select Book, and um, I can give it a name, let's call it Sample Sample Wedding Album and 
it's at 825. Well, we don't really need to give it dimensions here because we actually need to create a custom theme. So we go to custom from the drop down menu right next to book type. And I already have some uh, pre made um, custom themes here, but I need a new one. So I select new theme. And I can give it a name, so let's call it the previous ones were named GTA Coffee Table Books. So let's follow the same procedure so it doesn't get too confusing. Coffee Table Book. Sorry. And the dimensions for this one are 825 by 11. Alright, and remember those measurements do you, that you wrote down before? You just put them in here. 28, 58 for the width, and the height is 21, 59. Now this is the space in between images on the page, so uh, you really don't need to change these uh, measurements here. What you need to change is the margin. The top margin is 0 0.32. Same goes for the inside. Again, this is uh, very specific to the lab that I work with. I would highly recommend that I, that you contact your uh, pro lab or the company that you're going to use for your album needs and ask them what their specific um, specs are for each individual book um, and they'll be happy to help you and in most cases they have the templates already so what you can do is just open them up in either Photoshop or InDesign whatever uh, software package they offer a template in and uh, get the measurements from there. So now that we have our measurements inputted and we have the title of the new theme, just click OK and it's right there ready to choose. So I just click on the choose theme and there it is. There is my um, new spread and one thing you want to do here is by default Aperture um, automatically numbers the pages. I would hi highly recommend that you turn that off. Yeah, page numbers is automatic uh, off um, because the clients don't necessarily need to see the page number in on their wedding albums. Unless, you know, of course they specifically request to see that, but it, it doesn't add to the uh, presentation of the album whatsoever. So that's pretty much it. You have this theme now available in the database, so every time you want to make a book in that particular size, all you have to do is go to the Choose theme under the Custom uh, drop-down menu, and it'll be the, it'll be there for you to um, use it every every single time that you want to use it. Okay, so that concludes our lesson for today. And in my next tutorial, I'll go to the print module and show you how to export um, the layout in this album to the uh, template, uh, the Photoshop template for GTA Imaging. That's the lab that I use. Uh, and, and it will apply to any other lab that you might be using for your particular album needs. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much.